Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and today I'm going to try to make art with flowers. So I'm going to show you the entire process all the way from picking and choosing the flowers to drying and making art with them. So the first step is obviously picking which flowers you want to use. I went for a wide range of sizes and colors because I didn't really know what I wanted to make yet but primarily mine were pink and yellowish. Then when you've gathered a good amount of flowers, you can spread them out on flat surface and pick the best ones. Then I found a piece of parchment paper and folded it in half, and then arranged the flowers face down on one side. And of course I chose to do this outside. Now fold over the other half of the paper without messing up the arrangement you just made. I took the heaviest book I could find and placed the sheet in between the pages. And this one was appropriately a gardening book. And then I repeated this process so I had plenty of flowers to choose from later. Finally, place a bunch of other heavy books on top of your first heavy book and wait for a week. After checking that all my flowers were dry and, well, flat, I started sketching out my design on a piece of paper. And then I grabbed a hobby knife and a cutting board to cut my flowers with. When choosing which flowers to use, I tried to keep a pretty consistent color palette, so mainly yellows, pinks, and purples. And then I actually just started laying down the flowers one by one. So the wings were the largest part of the drawing, so I tried to outline those with an almost solid line and I did the same for the bottom wings. But from there on, I just kind of filled in with leaves here and there and flowers and just kind of sticking to the rule that it was supposed to be symmetrical, as symmetrical as possible, at least. So I very quickly found out that I could not use a glue stick to stick down these flowers, um, so I very quickly switched over to Mod Podge because it is a lot stronger and it actually dries down transparent, which is quite helpful. But yeah, essentially what I do to cut my flowers is just I lay them down and then I have the shape in my head that I want to achieve and then I just very lightly press down with the knife and then, I mean, they're so thin so it cuts without basically having to put any pressure on it. And I found that with the flat leaves it's much easier to apply the glue to the paper whereas the more irregular and bulky leaves it was easier to apply directly to the leaf and then stick it on the paper. And then I basically just repeated this for three and a half hours. result was this. It was definitely a bit of a challenge because I've never worked with um, this sort of medium before, but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or ideas, please leave a comment down below, and otherwise I'll see you in my next video.